It's being speculated that Devin Haney is having a tough time looking for an opponent to secure a comeback fight later this year. Also, just to be clear, it's not because fighters are ducking him, but more so over the fact that Haney's financial demands are apparently too high. Matchroom big boss Eddie Hearn has stated that without Devin Haney getting invited in one of Turkey Alshek's Riyadh season events, Devin's purse requirements are just quote unquote unsustainable. Now, some are saying that Devin Haney is demanding a lot of money because he believes he's a big star and that by paper at least, he's still undefeated. One article has reported that given Devin Haney's purse demands, his only choice is to either wait it out and persuade Ryan Garcia to fight him again, or move up in weight and challenge big name fighters in that specific division. Well, the first option is something that we may never see anymore since Ryan Garcia already said that he wants to close the chapter with Devin Haney. Some are also adding that Ryan Garcia is refusing to give Devin Haney a payday as a form of punishment. The second option is to start competing at 147 or 154. Haney was previously rumored to be in talks against Mario Barrios, but that ship has now sailed. With Mario Barrios defending his title against Abel Ramos this coming November as an undercard during the Mike Tyson vs Jake Paul event. Jerron Boots Ennis is also a good name to fight, but honestly, I doubt Devin Haney wants a piece of Boots. As for the 154 pound division, the weight class is definitely a whole lot riskier, given the fighters that are competing in that division. You have fighters such as Virgil Ortiz, Sebastian Fundura, and even Terence Crawford. But then again, by competing Competing in that weight class, Devin will lose the only advantage he's ever had throughout his career, which is his size. Devin Haney was always the bigger guy in the past. He's also notoriously known to rehydrate 25 pounds overnight. But when paired with somebody his own size, well, we all saw how that one went down. As of right now, we're not entirely sure if Devin Haney will compete this year, or whether he'll go for more of a Terence Crawford route wherein he sat it out after getting a taste of a big money fight against Errol Spence. But what about you? What are your thoughts about this? Definitely let me know in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, please don't forget to click that like and subscribe button for more quick talks.